Hello. Let me just adjust this. Okay, there we go. Last video, which was also today, I talked about giving away my movie collection. I did something different this time, something I actually don't ever do. Ever. My last collection for this one that I gave away had The Dark Knight Rises and the Behind the Mask of Rise of Leslie Vernon in it. And I ended up giving those away, even though those are my two favorite movies of all time. Because that's my dad, he, he, lo he, he likes movies, he doesn't love them. So, but this time I did something I didn't normally do, and I kept, decided to keep one, two, three, four, seven movies. And I'm going to show you what they are. They're my personal favorite tale of the last one. This is probably backwards. Yep, it is backwards, because this is a MacBook. But, you can still tell who they are, even though the words are reversed. And their faces are too. It's actually, uh... Dodgeball. It's a really goofy comedy. And one reason I really like it is the little chubby girl from All That is in this movie. It's one of the reasons I like it. Okay. Next up, also backwards. Uh, I'll try to fix that in the future. I'm really sorry. Um, Horseman with Dennis Quaid. It's not really disturbing, but the acting in some scenes is just like really powerful stuff. Really good though. Probably check it out if you want to. You don't have to and if you hate it, let me know. Because I love hearing people bitch about things I like. Which brings me to the next movie. Um, Piranha 3D. One dark. Um, Piranha 3D. Probably one of my all time favorite horror movies ever. It's based off another one of my favorite horror movies from Roger Corman. Um, just good. You know, the acting's good, it's good and solid. Um, the gore, probably one of the best parts. Also, the director of Hostel. Oh, yeah, Hostel. He's not being an idiot. I can't recall his name for the life of me right now. But he's being an idiot. He's saying stuff like, show me those weapons of masturbation, and that's always funny. Next up is one of my favorite anime, animated shows. Not anime. Good God. Um, I like anime. Some a little bit. Um, it's called Backwards Show. It's called Regular Show. God dang, I can't stand that it's backwards. It's just starting to bug me. It's probably bug you too. Backwards, backwards, backwards. It's a um, regular show. The Slack Pack. I pre ordered, got it. I was really hoping it'd come with a desk cover. Didn't. Disappointed I was. Um, just a guess. Enough said. Um, this one's one of my all-time favorite movies, horror movies ever. It's, um, Devil's Rejects. Yep. Not nearly as good as House of a Thousand Corpses, but definitely better than Super Beast, though. This is really good. I liked it a lot. There's some parts that are funny. Some parts that are scary. Some parts that just... Like that poor envelope that's always getting pushed around and pushed even further. Last one is one that got quite a bit of hate. But all movies do. Even the good ones. <laughs> I don't know if this is a good one or not, but I like it. Because Emma Stone is in this. Dark again. Emma Stone plays a nerdy redhead. And if Buffy can stand the testament, then that should prove that I love nerdy redheads. If she were a lesbian, it would have been great. I mean, it would have been like reliving my childhood. But, those are the seven I decided to keep. Let's go over them again. Dodgeball. Play the other. Um, Horseman. Piranha 3D. Regular show. Uh, Devil's Rejects. And, House Bunny. It's loose. I can't stand that. I'm just clicking there and staying there. Dang it. Okay. Those are the seven I decided to keep, and more videos will be popping up as I start to get my new collection in the mail. I also have one Blu-ray, but I don't have a PlayStation 3 or a Blu-ray player, so that's pretty much useless. I'll sell it for like a dollar, I don't care. It's um, Terminator Salvation. It was even worth a dollar. The movie sucked. 
It also has two Blu-rays in it. It has, uh, what's that one? Chronicles of Narnia, Prince Caspian. That's the one before the really, really sad one. But yeah, that's, uh, that's what makes up my collection so far. Two, one decent Blu-ray, one horrible Blu-ray, and some, some of my favorite movies that you guys might hate. If you do, comment. If you don't, comment. Yeah. You can see me looking at the mouse. I have to just leave it there. That way I don't even have to look anymore, you know? Uh, I'll just leave you with a message I'm going to leave you with nearly every time. Don't watch Three Guys One Hammer. See you later.